Hey, boo things, it is your favorite Southern Belle slash YouTuber on the YouTube back with another dope video. And this time, I'm going to show you how I attempted to slay and lay this lace frontal wig from sexyhair.com. And uh, it wasn't as easy as some people on YouTube make it look, but let's go. We are going to begin slaying this wig first of all i already know my face is red as hell around my nose it's allergies child okay let me be great out here in these streets we're gonna correct it when we do our face we're gonna beat our face and all that's gonna go away mind your business all right so <laughs> this is what the packaging looked like the sexy hair this is what it looked like straight out of the box so the method that i'm going to be using you guys is something that i've seen all over youtube university i've seen several variations of how people lay they lace wigs and i wanted to put it to the test and see if you can really have it looking natural doing some of this stuff so using gas to be glued we are going to secure this baby to our head now i did watch a tutorial from glamazon tay which is my soror hey soror and i watched miss Aaliyah j and they both did some unique things so i decided that i would try that out so taking my guys to be glued i have applied the first layer on top of my cap and now i'm taking a cool dryer setting and i'm trying to dry that now going on with the second layer with this blast spray from guys to be glued we are going to apply that that and we gonna dry that on cool as well okay and this didn't take that long but it was a mess second layer of the gas to be glued and you gonna apply that stuff like you would a relaxer baby to them edges get them edges laid but creamy crack is whack we all natural over here baby put the relaxers push it down with that comb to slide <laughs> Just lay, baby. all right so one thing i can tell you about applying the guys to be glued on top of the cap is um take a lot longer to dry um usually i put it on my forehead directly and pull the cap onto the glue but this way um was a little interesting okay because this stuff took for a lot more than it typically takes to dry it took a little longer than it would normally why well, i started stuttering girl get your life together it is not meant for me to be out here doing voiceovers in the youtube world child I always, you know what it is i always eat something before i record and my throat be dry honey i be eating honey buns i be yeah i got to have my little snacks I be hungry out here in these streets. So now all you see me doing is cutting the excess lace off the cap. And basically nothing too special here. You just cut it off and make sure you don't cut your real edges or else you're going to be feeling some type of way. All right. So I know you guys noticed that it is not close to my hairline. And you're like, hey, she got that cap all the way in the middle of her forehead. You know, and I would rather have it there didn't have it on my edges and i'd be out here child i'm not gonna have no frail edges out here in these streets i want them so if i just want you know to have it sitting in the middle of my forehead to preserve my edges that's what it's gonna be but one thing i am gonna have is some luscious full edges i'm gonna have a real hairline when i take it off okay i ain't gonna be out here struggling in the hairline area okay in the edge department so back to the video so as you can see i felt like the cap was a little light so i applied a little foundation to get it as close to my scalp color or skin tone as i possibly can and i'm taking a little rubbing alcohol to just clean up what i see that looked like it was a mess and this is what it should look like once i finally apply you see how it looks a little more natural looking opposed to it being yellow underneath so yeah that typically helps if you apply foundation to the cap um that will help you know blend the lace out a little bit more now we are going to cut the lace off of the wig itself and i'm just kind of going around the hairline and you're going to take your time doing this you don't want to go too fast because 
you will mess it up okay so take your time cutting off the lace now typically i would not keep them little baby hairs because i'm not a fan of the baby hairs i think that makes you look like you got on a wig but <laughs> as we all know baby hairs don't grow out your hair like them as fully grown adult grown man hairs grown women hairs okay growing out not no bank nothing baby about them but i'm gonna take one for the team and show y'all how it looks um if you leave the wig as is it has not been pre-plucked or the knots have not been bleached nor have the knots been bleached so you know whatever all right so now the process of me securing the wig down is the same i'm going to apply three layers of the gas to be glued in between each layer you are going to use a cool dryer setting and you are going to wait until the glue is tacky so you can touch a little spot and if you get that little string and you touch it and you pull it up and got a little string to it you are prepared to lay that frontal down and that's what i'm doing here i'm just pulling it down and i'm going to use my comb to press that unit onto my head to secure the hair all right don't use your hand because what i found when you use your hand to press the wig down or your fingers it can turn that glue white and that that ain't cute all right that ain't that ain't what you want out here so don't do that and if you get any glue that's left over or out of place just take a little alcohol and clean it up all right so now i am going to tie the edge of the wig up so that i can get it to lay down and make sure she ain't going nowhere so i'm just gonna take a piece of fabric and tie that down and i'm gonna leave that on for probably about 20 30 minutes and then um after that you should be good to go girl so in the meantime i'm going just to i am girl listen i keep fumbling this ball in the talking department for one i if you're new to my channel you're watching i watch the video i talk about what i'm doing I don't re-record my voiceover, so what it is is what it is. If I mess up, I mess up because I feel like that just makes the video a little more real, you know, like instead of me editing and cutting and pasting. And it also makes it boring. So we're going to just keep it 100 on my channel. You know, I just, I watch it and tell y'all what I'm doing. So, you know, if I mess up, oh, well, who is going to check her? Who? Nobody okay all right so now as you can see i kind of just applied some makeup so i can look a little more presentable in these streets and now i'm taking off that um piece of fabric and your wig should be honey laid and staying down honey it ain't nobody unless they snatch it off it ain't going nowhere it is very much so secured and like i said this is just using the gas to be glue you don't even have to get the wig bond and um adhesive because the gas to be glued what is in that stuff like what did they want our edges to be looking like for real they wanted us to lay them edges and they never move okay the gas to be glued works honey it is like once you lay your edges down with that or bun that wig with that it ain't moving for a little while and it works extra extra well when you use the blast spray like it makes it that much more tacky uh, when you use the bun, the blast spray, so that's why I use both. And now I'm attempting to lay these baby hairs, which again, I ain't, I'm not a person that feels the baby hairs. After I filmed this video, I did cut them off, so FYI, I did not keep them. This was just for the video. All right, so now I'm trying to get the roots straight, and I'm just using a plug-in hot comb to do that. And this was really going to lay your um, roots a lot flatter than they normally would be. And the last step would be to apply a concealer just to make that part look real and after that flat iron your hair honey and you are good to go you will be looking fly it will be laying flat and you will be all of that so basically that is it for this video featuring sexy hair and this unit that they sent over to me which is 22 inches long and it is beautiful i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to thumbs up and subscribe and turn that notification bell 
on for more videos and don't forget to stalk me on social media at Shakia Renee I am you know in these streets trying to be great all right booze until next time adios peace out